Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sailor Janda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3 as the United States. We remain at war with Japan and Germany. We have recently intercepted a couple of Japanese convoys headed to the Marshall Islands and South Korea. And we are hoping to put Japan under blockade and finally bring the war to an end in relatively short order now. The army wants more resources. You know what? Fine. I don't know where you're launching an offense. I mean, South Korea, I guess, logically. But Okay, hopefully we can retake Kamchatka. Sank a submarine. We are actually spending a lot of money now, but... Uh, we'll probably make it through to our new uh, light cruisers getting commissioned in a couple of months. Unless these destroyers. I just gave so much of my budget to the army that that's why we have a problem all of a sudden. How are we doing as far as blockading Japan goes? They are at 213, we're at 202. Oh, it's very close now. We sink a couple more heavy cruisers or carriers or something, and we can probably blockade Japan officially. Which, of course, would pretty much decide the war. I mean, not that it's not already. I mean, they have no real chance of coming back at this point, but... Support of land combat. Yes. Well, maybe, the f maybe there's less fortifications to hold us up now that I've blown so many of them up. Okay, this is a small combat. We're just getting four light cruisers, USS Tucson, St. Louis, Raleigh, and Wadsworth. Now these are... Oh, that Ron Wadsworth's a destroyer. But uh, three light cruisers, all of the Raleigh class with 16 6-inch guns. Uh, they do have four missile tubes of their own, along with torpedo tubes. So these are pretty much the latest and greatest for the moment. They do? Well, total... Total, yes, but I'm guessing a lot of those are in Japan proper. Alright, what are we fighting? Any time now. Yeah. Any time now. Did we have a objective marker? Nope. Sometimes this happens when it generates scenarios at night. Okay, almost daylight. Now it is daylight. I'm going to turn around and go back this way, I guess. What the hell? Did those just come from the south? I'm going to turn back around. And go to high speed. But... I mean, if we're just, like, chasing a light carrier or something, we're probably not ever going to actually catch it. Yep. 
Yeah. I have no idea what we're even looking for. Wait. Up there. Okay. Back that way. It's the only lead we've got, so we're definitely going to go after it. Okay, yeah, multiple reports, too. There must be a CVL up here somewhere. I should have trusted my instinct when I said to turn around. That's true, they do get stuck in crevices a lot. So we have reports of one, two, and three CVLs. How many do we think there really are? Okay. Bombers. What was their alleged course? South, southeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, south. And it's been like a couple of hours. I think it could be anywhere at this point. And that is probably the safer assumption. Um, I guess let's finish. Hmm. This maybe would be a time when having float planes on the light cruisers would come in handy. Actually, can we... Eh. I can't control the land pattern land bases uh, operations, I don't think. Wait, was that a new report? All the bloody way over there. Good grief. I guess we head for the intercept point of sorts. We're way past elapsed time for the whole battle already. And darkness. Yeah. There were three CVLs, as a matter of fact. Now this is going to paint some infuriating picture of them sailing circles around us. Let's see. Well, yes, at the start of the scenario, they were dead ahead of us. If it had been daylight, we probably would have seen them. It wasn't. We never saw them. We kept sailing south. I decided to turn around. They were just um, up here. I would have had to go a lot longer that way, and we still wouldn't have run into them, probably. Turned around again. I think we were... Must have been here when we got the report of them being up here, which they were. We sailed all the way back. More circles. They were over here. Here and here, here and here. Dang, we were quite close to them by the end, but if I'd kept going that way for even longer. I mean, that's still a distance of like, eh, really only like 30 nautical miles probably between here and here. I mean, heck, we're only 40 nautical miles away right now. Hi, Joe. Oh, well. Basically a draw. Nothing noteworthy on either side accomplished. Like jet fighter Blomenvoss. Ah, electro-optical directors for destroyers and corvettes. Our base expansion in Sakhalin is finished. Sanku submarine. Lost a garbage lighter. How fast are my light jet fighters? Not as fast as those, but I'm not really building any now either, so. Still over the base cap here, but. Huh. Japan has abruptly moved its entire fleet into the northern Pacific in an effort to. Yeah, it does. Um, Japan's moved its entire fleet into the northern Pacific, apparently to attempt to defeat our invasion of Kamchatka. Now, I feel like if I were the Imperial General Staff, 
I would prioritize Korea over Kamchatka, but you do you, Japan. Japan is now under blockade as a direct result of that move. But, sure. No worries, Jofu. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be streaming for very long because I've got to go somewhere for dinner, but we'll see. These are the guys that we're going to ram a battleship onto an island on purpose. We do have to bear that in mind. Can I invade Hokkaido now? Probably. Yes. Yes, I can. Fair enough. Well, I don't have the money, really, but... <laughs> we gave a lot of funding to the army for an offensive, and it's actually allowed us to finally not have infinite money. Did they move? They did move some other fleet right back immediately. Yeah. Loading. Yes, good contribution, Jofu. Yeah, 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 yeah. The AI is really fond of shuffling ships around between... Between the... I mean, the whole German fleet came into the Pacific, spent, like, a turn here, and then sailed right all the way back to Germany. Why? Who knows? Anyway, we have what appears to be the battleships Valley Forge and Oriskany currently sailing inside of each other. The carriers, Star Jumper, Bonholm Richard, Yorktown, and Bennington. So that's four. Oh no, Oriskany's over here. My bad. Valley Forge, I feel like it's still on top of something, but it's not Oriskany. And additionally, heavy cruisers Louisville and Houston and various other light cruisers. Quite a force, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we probably should start arming aircraft right away. Not this. This. Let's get the jet attack aircraft. Just, uh, well. Readied. Hopefully. It won't take too long. I mean, if we have carriers, it probably means Japan has carriers. I guess I'm in full control of everything. Or, oh, no, I'm not. I can't actually change course yet. Really? Sure. Oh, hey, I can steer now. All right. I guess steer towards the objective, probably. Cap. Hmm. Well, as far as recon goes, it's pretty much a bet on... Um... Hold up. What's the range to Korea? Literally 50 nautical miles. I know they're not in Korea, so... Let's assume the carriers are pretty much between these two island chains. And the actual search distance probably doesn't have to be more than, like, 150 nautical miles or something. Oh, jeez, we could probably easily get away with 100. I doubt they're... Really doubt they're beyond those parameters. But remind me to change that if we don't find them sooner or later. Wait. What? They're with the convoy. Well, this could get real ugly real quick. Yeah, that's three reports that the carriers are with the convoy. Okay. Strike is ready. Cap is... probably had better be heavy for the moment.
strike is ready. They do this awfully fast. I swear it only takes like 10 minutes of game time or something. Go for it. Well, it's just... Oh, we're flying. Okay. My bad. Usually it brings up a coordination confirmation method. Okay, let's get the cruisers up to speed. I'd like them to be with us. They should not have anything that can actually stand against Valley Forge and Ariskany in here. I mean, they have no gun capital ships left. They're building a new battlecruiser, but the biggest things they should have are these heavy cruisers, and they still have a couple of these with 10-inch guns, but that's nothing. Radar contact. And that's the convoy. Don't care about the transports at all, really. Don't think that's a carrier, but... I do think there's a carrier with them. Now, the problem with this airstrike is a lot of them are probably going to waste missiles on merchant ships, but... Oh, well. Okay, we're firing guns. Okay, wait. This is the convoy. This is the escort. Gotcha. It's plenty of escorts, but probably that's mostly cruisers and destroyers. Okay. Targeting radar. From what? We're awfully far away to be launching missiles still, I think. I mean, I don't think any of my missiles are in range. Nope. Well, on the convoy they are, but... Okay, incoming. Definitely incoming. Alright, we're gonna head up the aft of the convoy in hopes of... Okay. That's unfortunate now, for God's sake, radar disabled. Okay, well, at least our aircraft are heading back. That's a lot of Baltimores. Good luck with that, Japan. Now, the problem is a lot of them... Well, I was saying a lot of them would go after the transports, but it looks like they're pretty much going after the escort section, which is actually smart of them. Really? Ouch. Where are these missiles all coming from? Just the destroyers? I don't really feel like we're in range. I mean, clearly we are, but... They must be improving the percentage of the destroyers that have missiles. Okay, we gotta turn away a little. Uh, apparently we've pretty much obliterated one column of the convoy. So that's a good start. Where are all my destroyers? Why are they all so far behind? They're faster. Okay, turn back and try to keep this range, maybe. 
We just need some screens between our battle cruisers and missiles. Okay, found the enemy aircraft. Not a hundred percent sure where. He thinks the carriers are maybe up there, but all of these reports are very uh, questionable, of course. Okay, the carriers are all back here. They're doing fine. Good. That is indeed their line of just, what, like three heavy cruisers plus three or four light cruisers plus a mass of destroyers plus who knows what else. I mean, we can absolutely pulverize that in a gunfight. It's just... Um, a question of actually getting through it. Uh, let me target one of these Furutakas and just give them... Uh... Start returning some of this missile fire, shall we? Yeah. Okay, those aren't what I said to shoot at, but good enough. Okay, there we go. Maybe now they'll regret shooting so many missiles at Valley Forge. The jets are... Eh, being recovered. Some of them are ready to go again. I guess I might as well pretty much, uh... Okay, alright, alright, hold on. How many... Bennington has ten left, alright. Fine. Did I not just say... To... There we go. Let's ready up however many we can for a second wave with missiles, and then 12, 17, and fourteen. And then the third strike will go with bombs. Oh, yes, look at that. Sure. Yep, Jofu's right. Okay, we're getting in between, or we're circling around north of their convoy now. I think that's where their carriers are. Not a hundred percent on that. A lot of our destroyers are still kind of stuck to the south, but... I don't see them anywhere in here. I could be wrong. I mean, there's reports of things like CV, but I'm pretty sure that's either a cruiser or very possibly just a transport. Well, that's good. Okay, that Furutaka is crippled. Do we have the missile range to fire at the other one? Some of us do. Not most of us, actually, but... Okay, well, just fire what you got.
Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. The carriers are around somewhere. They're not being very active, to be fair. We've only been attacked, like, twice by aircraft, I'm pretty sure. Of course, it appears our carriers have actually kept a cap up here with this detached formation, which is pretty nice. They often kind of neglect to do that, but... Okay. Probably ready to launch the airstrike again, just, uh... question is, are we launching it up here somewhere, or just at the convoy? That's not a CV. I really don't believe it is. But I don't know where their CVs are, so I think maybe we just launch it at the convoy, basically. Probably. Which reports are newer? They're all pretty much the same, to be honest. I would say the upper reports are slightly newer. But only by a matter of minutes. And, well, no, here's one from 122 also that says they're down there. Yeah. I think I'm inclined to agree with Jofu. That's what I was preparing to do. Oops. Let's just launch at the location of what we know exists and obliterate it, and we'll find the carriers later. I know there's still a bunch of light and heavy cruisers in there. And destroyers and such, so even if we don't find a carrier, we'll survive. Why is there a Corvette right here charging my fleet? It weighs 300 tons, and it has one three-inch gun. Buddy. Buddy, those two battle cruisers that you're charging. Oh, buddy. Yeah. So if something like that gets hit by a 16-inch shell, does it just, like, cease to exist, or... I feel like this dramatic sinking period is longer than is realistic. Okay, there's still destroyers that are uncomfortably close to me, including this one that's literally we're driving over right now. Don't love that. Oh. Hey, I think I found their carriers. We're gonna just, uh, we're gonna take a quick jaunt up here <laughs> and, uh, see what that might happen to be stuck against the coast up here. Did we just torpedo that destroyer that was right next to us? Oh, Mugford, why would you launch torpedoes in that direction? You're definitely going to hit... <sighs> Managed to not quite hit McKee. Okay, yeah, this is their carriers, for sure. Oh, guys. Guys. Why are you like this? True, yeah. I guess uh, there would be a bit of trouble with actually detonating. What? We hit a... The strike's going on down here, but their carriers are 
clearly up here. Unless they're split, but I don't know. I'm going to focus on this that I see up here. Um, yeah. These two light cruisers are a little ahead of themselves, but they should be fine. Is anybody else ready to go with... Yeah, why don't you all switch to heavy bomb loadouts? Target is here. And ready up. Okay, I'm not going to bother with the one that's literally one aircraft, but... Everybody else, go ahead and ready up. Yeah. Oh, oh, I should I said heavy fighters? Um, objectively, probably, but, I mean, there's two battle cruisers closing in on here. I think that'll probably do the job anyway. Oof. That might hurt. Yeah, that hurts a lot. Rough if you're USS St. Louis. I know for a fact that wasn't a battleship that we just hit with a missile, but... What do we have confirmed up here? At least three fleet carriers? Maybe only two. But still. Oh, Akaki. What the hell are you doing, buddy? Stop steering yourself onto the beach. There's battle cruisers 13,000 yards away from. Actually, to be fair, if there's battle cruisers 13,000 yards away from you and you're a carrier, maybe steering yourself onto the beach is the most morally correct and responsible thing you can do as a captain. just feels less good when you got yourself into this position by spending the last two hours attempting to steer yourself onto the beach. Okay, are we ready to launch? Yeah. Go for it. Hopefully they don't accidentally bomb us, but... Oh, St. Louis. Oh, well. What the hell? Okay, it's a lot of structural damage. That's not so great. Um, we're gonna turn away a little. There's a bunch of destroyers in here. They're just also trying to steer themselves into ground, so I wasn't being paranoid enough about them, I guess. Say, does anybody have missiles left on the... God damn it. We're turning. Come on. Um, can we target this with any missiles? Sure can. How about this? Okay, go for it. Ouchie. These carriers putting up a better fight than you'd expect. Mostly via their destroyer escorts, but still. Okay. Not that destroyer anymore. I mean, to be fair, when I say a better fight than you'd expect, I see... At least three carriers halted and burning within the screen right now, so... This one's still sailing... Oh, no, it's dead, too. Yeah, I mean, I think there's four dead carriers right here, so it's not exactly... 
a stunning success for them. Valley Forge is not okay, though. Yeah, I'm aware she has a lot of flotation damage. I think the bombers are going to be a little bit of... Well, maybe they'll finish off some of these pesky destroyers. Oh, great. That's unfortunate. That's a very expensive ship to lose. But, worthwhile to sink all these carriers, ultimately. I think it's really the missiles that did her in, I have to say. I mean, the torpedoes obviously didn't help, but, yeah. The fires are effectively what... Yeah, I think this is, in fact... To be fair, there's two fleet carriers in here, albeit... Ooh, old fleet carriers compared to mine, but... Guys, you probably don't actually... I don't think I can reprioritize after they've launched, but you should probably be going after the destroyers or something. I think the carriers are dead. Somebody should probably be covering those carriers. The smart move by the Japanese convoy might have been to make a dash directly at my carriers after I let them get between my heavy ships and the carriers, but uh, I don't think they're interested. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of... My frames, they're gone. <laughs> True, yeah. Although, I don't have that many DDs, unfortunately, around. Well, I mean, there's enough around the battle cruisers, at least. Yeah. I am pretty damn confident that those four carriers at least are dead, and one of them just sank. The other three are definitely dead, too. Pretty high cost, to be honest, between the battle cruiser and the uh, light cruiser, but... I mean, we also definitely flattened three heavy cruisers at least of theirs. Probably more. So, I'm... Fairly comfortable with our success here. Um, that said, we should probably prep another airstrike and just launch it in this general direction. No real reason at all not to. Not sure why Yorktown has so many more attack aircraft than Bonham Richard. Although the different classes aren't they, so that's why, but... Seems like a very large difference. Yeah, I think that's fair to say, Jofu. No, I don't think that'll be necessary.
Are we ready? Yes. Oh. Eh, go for it. What's a few landing accidents? Really? Dusk? It's only 1,500 now. It's not that far. Oh well. Who is this? USS McKee? What the hell are you doing? You're going the wrong way, buddy. It's 1954. Surely you have a radio to tell you, you know, the fleet's going this way. Oh, there we go. He turned around. We're fine. Yeah, they might just end up bombing a lot of transports, but... No, I don't think that's... Or is going to slow the hell down. The rest of the fleet is not doing 32 knots anymore. There should still be some cruisers that are worth bombing over here. Probably. Just faintly saw someone claim bomb hits on a battle cruiser. Don't think that's the case. The hell? Oh. Well, that must have been from... Actually, that's probably from the land base, to tell you the truth. I'm sure it was aircraft mounted. Well, I don't know where... Oh, there's Torsi. Yeah, must have been aircraft mounted. That's true, McKee did almost get torpedoed by one of our own destroyers. That is a lot of scouting reports. Yeah, I get it, they're headed east, but it really is almost dusk now, so... Whoever's still alive can stay alive by my benevolence. Why is this heavy cruiser division my flag division? Whatever. Also, why are my carriers going back to the site of the battle? Guys. Yeah. <laughs> that does make the most sense, actually, Promain. Well, it's the name, isn't it? She's doomed to go through a lot of difficult trials. A lot of suffering. You guys didn't even hear that, because game sounds are mostly just a bunch of wind and they're off, but you uh, there was just a random gunfire sound. Drive straight into it, exactly. Uh, what was the idea for carrier naming Promain? I don't remember. Oh, famous persons from fiction. Well, that's not such a bad idea. I mean... Better than naming them all after random secretaries of defense and such, honestly. Right. So, well, we lose one light cruiser, one battle cruiser, both in very annoying circumstances. 
I mean, well, okay, St. Louis got hit by several missiles and a bunch of 6-inch and 4-inch shells, and that was the end of her. Valley Forge, of course, two torpedoes, three missiles, a bomb from the enemy, not from us. Well, that's pretty much it, too, but yeah, two torpedoes, three missiles, and she just burned out of control. Not that the flooding wasn't pretty bad, too, but... In return, however, we sank 13 transports, one corvette, 10 destroyers, two light cruisers, two heavy cruisers, two light carriers, and two fleet carriers. The destroyers, I'm not going to go over all of them in detail, but uh, mostly died, it looks like, from, well, a mix. This one died from a 2,500-pound bomb off of USS Bonholm Richard. This one also died from a 2,500-pound bomb off of USS Yorktown. So it looks like uh, this one died from a missile. And a bomb near miss. So it looks like against the destroyers, at least, our uh, missiles and bombs are working out fine. This one was apparently hit by two torpedoes. A 16-inch shell. Just five-inch gunfire from our destroyers. Several 2,000-pound bombs off of USS Bennington. And a relatively small amount of, oh, five-inch magazine hit from USS Louisville. Um, yeah, I don't know. 2,500 pounds, apparently. Welcome to American Measuring Systems. Although when we already have a 2,000 pound bomb, apparently, because I just saw one. That's an odd choice, but yeah. Okay, then the light cruisers. This one was pretty much exclusively sunk by... Three 2,500-pound bombs off of Bonhomme Richard. Engine room, engine room, electrical power, which surely related to engine room, really, but very dead. And Tori was hit by a bunch of 9-inch gunfire from our heavy cruisers, it looks like. Then the heavy cruisers, we actually only sank two, and there were three, so one of them got away. But we sank Kumano with the benefit of a missile which disabled her machinery. And a couple of 16-inch shells, which... Yeah. And Furutaka here oh, was just bombarded by 16-inch shells, it looks like. Yeah. Rough. And then the carriers. Chuyo, 28 aircraft. Hit by a bomb, a torpedo... Bunch of 9-inch gunfire from our heavy cruisers. 16-inch gunfire. Fire's raging out of control. Wouldn't be surprised if she was actually sinking before that. I guess not technically, although... Her flotation damage is also crippling. But Teo, 14,000 tons, 28 aircraft. One missile hit. And one 16-inch hit, which disabled her machinery. And some 9-inch shells, fueled aircraft, burned. And then 25,000-ton Shinano-class, 45, looks like jet aircraft. Three bombs, three missiles, bunch of 16-inch shells. Yeah. Overkill on a lot of these carriers, really. Hio... Is only slightly larger. Carries way more. Oh no, only 55. Okay. I thought I saw more before. Oh, just a couple of 16 inch shells. Just, uh. The fires. Yeah. The fires are very bad for carriers. Okay. 
So, yeah, I mean, not carriers equivalent to ours in size, but, uh, that's true, I suppose, yeah. Not the actual engines, but an uh, electrical... Oh, army. I gave you all that money, guys. Yeah, those are pretty good names. I could see using them, potentially. I could, well... I could name them all after battles from America's past, like we kind of started to do. Except, to be fair, most of the battles America fought post-Civil War are different in this timeline, and I don't remember what they're all called. We don't... I don't think we have Sam's yet. Let me check. As soon as it decides to load through from here. There we go. But we're close to understanding a helipad. Oh boy. A new piston fighter. At least it's long ranged. Okay, we've taken Kamchatka. Sank a submarine. Austria loses a light cruiser. Italy loses a light carrier. And a destroyer. Those two just... What? Well, I didn't see that coming. Okay. Why? Oh, we do have an alliance. How long have I had an alliance with Austria-Hungary? That's true, we do have a timeline of... Although I didn't name all of them very creative things, really, but we do have a timeline of all of them. Yeah, that's what I thought. They didn't... We didn't have an alliance before, so why did they join the war? I don't know. Maybe they just don't like Germany. I'm going to go ahead and say that's entirely their business. I am sending exactly zero ships to the Mediterranean. Germany's fleet is currently... Where the hell is Germany's fleet currently? Okay, haven't I checked all the sea zones? Where is Germany's fleet? Yeah, I, I mean, Germany would... Austria-Hungary just lasting to 1954 is a miracle. I... The German fleet doesn't exist. Um, it's vanished off the face of the earth entirely, so... I'm going to choose not to be. Continue not to worry about them too much. Oh, Baltic. Yep, that's where they are. Why? Who knows? They're not at war with Russia. No, they're not at war with Russia, but they're all in the Baltic. Hmm. Well, they can have fun with that. All right. That's true. It is the furthest away they can be from my fleet. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. So we've taken Kamchatka. We've taken the Marshall Islands. Therefore, Japan is now confined to Northeast Asia. They are under blockade in Northeast Asia. They are down to just three operational fleet carriers and four light, albeit they're building a ton more of each, but we'll see if they have the funds to actually finish them. Oh, and one of them is interned besides, so they really only have two Soryus left from the 30s. They're building four Unryu class, 60,000 tons apiece. 
Whether they have the funds to actually finish them is another question, but theoretical. Is this, uh, how are we doing here? Kind of working, kind of not working. Kind of highly unstable. Oh, maybe we're getting together here. Yeah, okay. I think we're all right. Yes, the laptop battery died. I unplugged the charger with my foot on accident, but it's got emergency. I don't know what you call it exactly, but we didn't lose anything in any case, although now it's doing this, but I saved already, so we're fine. Still, yeah. All good. Yes, exactly. Emergency power. <laughs> anyway, so what was I saying? We've got Japan fully pinned into Northeast Asia. They're under blockade. They're down to three fleet, four light carriers. Probably. I think it's just getting itself together again. Um, they're down to three fleet, four light carriers, even though they're building a bunch more. Who knows if they actually have the money to do it. They also have the least fleet tonnage in the world now. Great job, Japan. Thanks for watching, sailors. I hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.